तो हेलो दोस्तों कैसे हैं आप लोग मैं हूं आपका दोस्त आदित्य गौरव और आज मैं क्लास टेंथ का दूसरा चैप्टर साइंस का लेकर के आया हूं आप लोगों के लिए एनिमेटेड फॉर्म में जिसका कि नाम है एसिड बेस एंड साल्ट तो दोस्तों इस चैप्टर का आपको नोट्स भी नीचे दिया गया हुआ है डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में वहाँ से जा के डाउनलोड कर सकते हो और इसके बाद फिर आपको चैप्टर मैं खुद से भी पढ़ाने वाला हूँ जो कि अगले दो तीन दिनों में आपको वीडियो मिलेगा तो चलिए चलते हैं एनिमेटेड वीडियो को देखते हैं एसिड बेस एंड साल्ट और अगर आपने अभी तक हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो पहले चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें फिर चलिए चलते हैं वीडियो की तरफ और शेयर करें और भी बच्चों तक और कमेंट बॉक्स में कमेंट भी जरूर कीजिएगा और लाइक भी जरूर कीजिएगा चलिए चलते हैं फिर पढ़ते हैं सीरियस एंड सार्थक इट्स द स्टार्ट ऑफ अनदर डे एट माय रेस्टोरेंट एंड आई एम गैदरिंग द फ्रेशेस्ट इंग्रेडिएंट्स बिफोर आई बिगिन कुकिंग ऑरेंजेस आर ग्रेट to add tang to any dish oranges are tangy because of the acid they contain in fact the word acid comes from the latin word acidus which means sour by the end of this lesson you will be able to define an acid define organic and inorganic acids Explain the physical and chemical properties of acids. Explain how indicators help to identify acids. List the uses of acids. Any substance that releases hydrogen ions when dissolved in water is an acid. A hydrogen ion cannot exist on its own. so it combines with a water molecule to form a hydronium ion for example hydrochloric acid when dissolved in water liberates a hydrogen ion and a chloride ion the hydrogen ion combines with water to form a hydronium ion this curd is too sour It needs a little sugar. Curd contains lactic acid which gives it a sour taste. Acids obtained from food like curd, lemons, grapes, raw mango, citrus fruits and gooseberry are called organic acids. Hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid and nitric acid are called inorganic or mineral acids. We already know that acids taste sour. Acids also have other physical properties. Acids turn blue litmus red. They also turn methyl orange red. Acids have a corrosive action on the skin. Sulfuric acid stains the skin black. Nitric acid stains the skin yellow. And hydrochloric acid leaves an amber stain on the skin. Acids are good conductors of electricity. Let's try to prove this through an experiment. Pour 5 ml of hydrochloric acid into a beaker containing 10 ml of water. Suspend two carbon rods in the acid. Connect the rods with an electrical wire in series along with a battery, a switch and a bulb. Switch the setup on and see the bulb glow. This shows that acids are good conductors of electricity. Mixing an acid with water reduces the concentration of hydronium ions of the acid per unit volume. This is called dilution of acid. Acids generate heat when they are diluted. This is because the action of acids with water is exothermic. Take 5 ml of water in a test tube. and carefully add sulfuric acid to it now shake the test tube and touch its base the base will feel hot indicating that a reaction between acid and water is exothermic i never store tomato soup in a copper pot for very long it gives the soup a funny taste tomato soup being acidic reacts with copper and that is what causes the change in its taste acids react with metals 
to form metal salts. In this reaction, hydrogen gas is liberated. Take a few granules of zinc in a test tube. Add 2 milliliter of sulfuric acid to it. You will find that a gas will be liberated. Bring a burning splinter close to the gas liberated. The splinter burns and a pop sound shows the presence of hydrogen. Acids react with metal carbonates to form corresponding salts. Carbon dioxide and water. Try this experiment. Take 1 gram of magnesium carbonate. Now pour 2 ml of hydrochloric acid into the test tube. You will observe that a gas evolves. Pass this gas through freshly prepared calcium hydroxide solution, also known as lime water. Lime water turns milky, proving that the gas is carbon dioxide. The precipitate formed in this process is calcium carbonate. Acids react with metal hydrogen carbonates and form corresponding salts, carbon dioxide and water. Take 2 grams of sodium hydrogen carbonate in a test tube. Pour 2 milliliter of hydrochloric acid into the test tube. You will see that a gas evolves. Pass this gas through freshly prepared lime water. The lime water turns milky, indicating that the gas evolved is carbon dioxide. A white precipitate of calcium carbonate is also formed. Acids react with metal oxide to form salt and water. Let's conduct an experiment to prove this chemical property. Take 10 milliliter dilute hydrochloric acid in a beaker. Add 2 grams of copper oxide to the beaker. Stir the mixture continuously. You will find that the black copper oxide disappears and a blue-green solution is formed in its place. This blue-green solution is copper chloride. An acid base indicator is the one which exhibits different color in acids and bases. Red cabbage is a visual indicator used to detect acids. The cabbage leaves are purplish in color but turn red in the presence of an acid. Onions are called olfactory indicators because of their characteristic smell. This smell is destroyed by the action of a base. The most common indicator that you may have come across in the laboratory is litmus, which can be in the form of a solution or paper. Litmus is a natural indicator and is extracted from lichens. It is dyed blue and red to detect changes in color. Take 1 milliliter of any acid and put it into a watch glass and then place a red litmus paper in it. There is no change. In the same setup, place a blue litmus paper and see what happens. The litmus paper will turn red, indicating the presence of acid. This shows that acids turn blue litmus red. Apart from natural indicators, there are a few synthetic indicators such as methyl orange and phenolphthalein. The neutral color of methyl orange is orange and it turns red in an acid and yellow in a base. Phenolphthalein is colorless. It does not change in an acid but turns pink in a base. Acids have various uses. Sulfuric acid is used in the manufacture of fertilizers, paints, dyes, chemicals, plastics, and synthetic fibers. It is also used in car batteries. Nitric acid is used in the manufacture of fertilizers, explosives like TNT, dyes, and drugs. Hydrochloric acid is used before galvanizing to remove oxide film from steel and also as a descaling agent for boilers. It is also used in the textile, leather and food industry.
What's the matter, Sam? You look pale. Is something wrong? I have overeaten. And now I am feeling some uneasiness in my stomach. What should I do? This problem is known as acidity, which is due to excessive intake of spicy food. This acidity of food is relieved by using an antacid, which is a mild base like sodium bicarbonate. A mild base neutralizes the excess acid produced in the stomach and makes you feel relieved. In this lesson, you will learn about properties and uses of bases. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define a base, explain the physical and chemical properties of bases, explain how indicators help to identify a base, and list the uses of bases. Tell me more about a base. Any substance that can produce hydroxide ions when dissolved in water is known as a base. For example, sodium hydroxide when dissolved in water disassociates into sodium ion and hydroxide ion. How can one identify a base? Do they have any unique properties? Yes, they do. Bases can be identified with their physical properties. For example, they are bitter to taste. But you must never taste a base. As strong bases are corrosive in nature and denature the protein. What are these colored strips of paper? What are they used for? These colored strips of paper are called litmus paper. Bases turn the red litmus to blue. Apart from litmus paper, we can use methyl orange. On addition of methyl orange to a base, like sodium hydroxide, the orange color of methyl orange changes to yellow and when phenolphthalein is added to sodium hydroxide, it changes to pink. It's slippery. It feels like soap. Bases feel soapy on touch. This is because they dissolve the fatty acids and oils from the skin and it reduces the friction between your fingers as we rub them together. Due to this property, bases are used in the preparation of soaps. What is this? Bases are good conductors of electricity in aqueous solution. In aqueous solution, they release ions which conduct electricity. To prove this, let's perform a small experiment. First, we take 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide solution and 10 milliliters of water in a beaker. Then, we take a cork and fix two carbon rods in it. Next, we connect the rods with an electric wire in series along with a battery, switch and a bulb. Now, we insert the setup into the beaker with sodium hydroxide. Finally, pass electricity through it. We can observe that the bulb glows. From this, we can conclude that bases conduct electricity. Ouch! It's hot! When bases are diluted with water, they give out heat. Let's look at this experiment. We take 5 grams of sodium hydroxide pellets in a test tube. 
To this, we add 10 milliliters of water, slowly by stirring. On diluting with water, some heat is released, due to which the test tube becomes warm. Let's observe the chemical behavior of these bases. Chemical behavior? Bases react with some metals, like zinc, and liberate hydrogen. For example, when sodium hydroxide reacts with a metal like zinc, it liberates hydrogen gas along with the formation of sodium zincate. I don't see any gas. How can you say it's hydrogen gas? The liberated gas can be tested with a burning splinter, which is put off with a pop sound indicating the presence of hydrogen gas. What's next? Bases react with non-metallic oxides to form salt and water. This is very similar to a neutralization reaction between an acid and a base. From this it can be concluded that non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. Consider an example when carbon dioxide gas is allowed to pass through calcium hydroxide, it results in the formation of calcium carbonate and water. Now, can you tell some of the uses of bases? Yes. Bases neutralize the acidity caused in my stomach. Not all bases, only mild bases neutralize the acidity. Apart from that, Bases have a variety of uses in daily life. Let's look at some of them. Bases like sodium hydroxide are used in the manufacture of soaps, paper and synthetic fibers like rayon. A base like calcium hydroxide is used to manufacture bleaching powder. Bleaching powder is used as a disinfectant. Magnesium hydroxide is used as an antacid to neutralize the acid produced in the stomach. This is similar to the one you have taken to obtain relief from your acidity problem. Bases are useful to plants too. A base like ammonium hydroxide is used in the preparation of fertilizers like ammonium phosphate and ammonium sulfate. What's the matter, Sam? You look pale. Is something wrong? I have overeaten. And now I am feeling some uneasiness in my stomach. What should I do? This problem is known as acidity, which is due to excessive intake of spicy food. This acidity of food is relieved by using an antacid which is a mild base like sodium bicarbonate. A mild base neutralizes the excess acid produced in the stomach and makes you feel relieved. In this lesson, you will learn about properties and uses of bases. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define a base Explain the physical and chemical properties of bases. Explain how indicators help to identify a base. And list the uses of bases. Tell me more about a base. Any substance that can produce hydroxide ions when dissolved in water is known as a base. For example, sodium hydroxide, when dissolved in water, disassociates into sodium ion and hydroxide ion. How can one identify a base? Do they have any unique properties? Yes, they do. 
bases can be identified with their physical properties. For example, they are bitter to taste. But you must never taste a base. As strong bases are corrosive in nature and denature the protein. What are these colored strips of paper? What are they used for? These colored strips of paper are called litmus paper. Bases turn the red litmus to blue. Apart from litmus paper, we can use methyl orange. On addition of methyl orange to a base, like sodium hydroxide, the orange color of methyl orange changes to yellow and when phenolphthalein is added to sodium hydroxide, it changes to pink. It's slippery. It feels like soap. Bases feel soapy on touch. This is because they dissolve the fatty acids and oils from the skin and it reduces the friction between your fingers as we rub them together. Due to this property, bases are used in the preparation of soaps. What is this? Bases are good conductors of electricity in aqueous solution. In aqueous solution, they release ions which conduct electricity. To prove this, let's perform a small experiment. First, we take 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide solution and 10 milliliters of water in a beaker. Then, we take a cork and fix two carbon rods in it. Next, we connect the rods with an electric wire in series along with a battery, switch and a bulb. Now, we insert the setup into the beaker with sodium hydroxide. Finally, pass electricity through it. We can observe that the bulb glows. From this, we can conclude that bases conduct electricity. Ouch! It's hot! When bases are diluted with water, they give out heat. Let's look at this experiment. We take 5 grams of sodium hydroxide pellets in a test tube. To this, we add 10 milliliters of water slowly by stirring. On diluting with water, some heat is released, due to which the test tube becomes warm. Let's observe the chemical behavior of these bases. Chemical behavior? Bases react with some metals like zinc and liberate hydrogen. For example, when sodium hydroxide reacts with a metal like zinc, it liberates hydrogen gas along with the formation of sodium zincate. I don't see any gas. How can you say it's hydrogen gas? The liberated gas can be tested with a burning splinter, which is put off with a pop sound indicating the presence of hydrogen gas. What's next? Bases react with non-metallic oxides to form salt and water. This is very similar to a neutralization reaction between an acid and a base. From this it can be concluded that non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. Consider an example. When carbon dioxide gas is allowed to pass through calcium hydroxide, it results in the formation of calcium carbonate and water. Now, can you tell some of the uses of bases? Yes.
bases neutralize the acidity caused in my stomach. Not all bases, only mild bases neutralize the acidity. Apart from that, bases have a variety of uses in daily life. Let's look at some of them. Bases like sodium hydroxide are used in the manufacture of soaps, paper and synthetic fibers like rayon. A base like calcium hydroxide is used to manufacture bleaching powder. Bleaching powder is used as a disinfectant. Magnesium hydroxide is used as an antacid to neutralize the acid produced in the stomach. This is similar to the one you have taken to obtain relief from your acidity problem. Bases are useful to plants too. A base like ammonium hydroxide is used in the preparation of fertilizers like ammonium phosphate and ammonium sulfate. Since the sea is considered to be the largest water body on the earth, why is the water so salty that we can't drink it? The sea water is so salty because it contains large amounts of dissolved salts. Do we get the salt which we use in our food from the sea? Yes, of course. Along with common salt, you can get other salts from the sea. Some salts are prepared in laboratories. This lesson is about the occurrence and uses of different salts. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define salt List the uses of Sodium chloride Explain water of crystallization using an experiment And List the uses of plaster of Paris. The product of an acid reacting with a base is salt and water. From this, we define salt as a compound formed by the reaction between an acid and a base. This reaction is called a neutralization reaction. For example, when an acid like hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide, which is a base, sodium chloride, which is a salt, is formed. Oh! Salt which we use in our food? Yes. Some salts like sodium chloride are edible and other salts like magnesium chloride, potassium nitrate, zinc carbonate and copper sulfate are useful to us. Do these salts have any unique properties? Salts are mostly solids and are ionic compounds. Every salt has a positively charged cation and negatively charged anion. For example, sodium chloride is made of sodium ions and chloride ions. Do you know how these salts get their name? No idea. Salts usually get their name from the acid which takes part in the reaction. Salts formed from any hydroxide and hydrochloric acid are chlorides. For example, potassium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to form a salt called potassium chloride. Similarly, salts formed from any hydroxide and sulfuric acid are called sulfates. For example, magnesium hydroxide reacts with sulfuric acid to form magnesium sulfate. Accordingly, salts formed from any hydroxide and nitric acid are known as nitrates. Ammonium hydroxide reacts with nitric acid to form the salt ammonium nitrate. Likewise, salts formed from any hydroxide and carbonic acid are carbonates. Sodium hydroxide reacts with carbonic acid to form the salt sodium carbonate. Based on the strength of the reacting acid and the base, salts can be classified into three types. Salts 
formed from strong acids and strong bases are called neutral salts. They have a pH value of 7. Consider salts such as sodium chloride and potassium sulfate formed from strong acids like hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid with strong bases like sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Salts formed from strong acids and weak bases are called acidic salts. They have a pH value less than 7. Consider the formation of salts like ammonium chloride and magnesium nitrate which are formed from strong acids like hydrochloric acid and nitric acid with weak bases like ammonium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide. On the other hand, salts formed from weak acids and strong bases are called basic salts with a pH value more than 7. Consider the salts like sodium carbonate and potassium acetate which are obtained from weak acids like carbonic acid and acetic acid on reaction with strong bases like sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. Oh, it's too salty. Sea water contains many dissolved salts like chloride of potassium, magnesium, iodides of potassium, etc. Although the most abundant sea salt is sodium chloride or common salt, sodium chloride is obtained from sea water by the process of evaporation. Without common salt, food doesn't taste good. Absolutely. Common salt is an important constituent of food and is referred to as stable salt. Common salt enriches the flavor of food. It plays an important role in the functioning of our nervous system the movement of muscles and in the production of hydrochloric acid in our stomach. It is also used as preservative in pickles, fish and meat. Sodium chloride is used in the manufacture of soaps. It is used to melt ice that forms on the roads in cold countries. Sodium chloride is used as raw material for the manufacturing of various other useful compounds like sodium hydroxide, sodium hydrogen carbonate, sodium carbonate and bleaching powder. What is sodium hydrogen carbonate? Sodium hydrogen carbonate is produced when a concentrated solution of sodium chloride reacts with ammonia and carbon dioxide. Is it useful to us in the same way as sodium chloride? Yes, it is useful in many ways. One example would be that it is an important ingredient in baking. Yes, I remember. My mother uses it in the kitchen while she bakes a cake and she also says that it can even neutralize the acid produced in our stomach. Baking powder is a mixture of baking soda and a mild edible acid called tartaric acid. Baking soda reacts with the hydrogen ion of tartaric acid and releases carbon dioxide which bubbles out and helps to raise bread or cake in the process of baking. It is also used as an antacid because being alkaline it helps to neutralize the acid of the stomach. Apart from that it is even used in soda acid fire extinguishers. Which we usually come across those in the multi-storied malls? That's right. Do you know how glass is made? No idea. Sodium carbonate is used to manufacture glass. Sodium carbonate? Sodium carbonate is obtained by heating sodium hydrogen carbonate and is called anhydrous sodium carbonate or soda ash. The anhydrous sodium carbonate is dissolved in water and recrystallized to sodium carbonate decahydrate. How is this sodium carbonate useful to us? Sodium carbonate is used to manufacture 
cleansing agents, soap, glass, paper, etc. It is also used for removing the permanent hardness of water. It is used to remove the dissolved salts in the water and make the water clean for drinking. It is even used to manufacture sodium compounds like borax, which is used as a cleansing agent. I love to play with water, but I feel my skin develops some itching sensation when I play in seawater. I wonder why it doesn't happen when I swim in a pool. The microscopic organisms or small germs present in seawater irritate the skin, whereas the water in a pool is treated with bleaching agents like bleaching powder that kills insects and germs. Bleaching powder? Bleaching powder is chemically called as calcium oxychloride, which is obtained by passing chlorine gas through calcium hydroxide. Great! What else is bleaching powder used for? It is used to bleach cotton and linen textiles, and to bleach wood pulp, and even used in the manufacture of paper. Bleaching powder is used to disinfect drinking water and make the drinking water clean and safe. What does your mother do when the kitchen drain is blocked? She uses a drain cleaner to clean the clog. Did you know? The drain cleaner contains sodium hydroxide, which cleans the clog formed in the drain. When the pipe is clogged, it is because of a combination of fats and grease. Cleaners that contain sodium hydroxide, either as a solid or already dissolved in water, converts the fats to soap, which dissolve in water. In addition, when sodium hydroxide dissolves in water, a great deal of heat is given off. This heat helps to melt the clog. How can we obtain sodium hydroxide? Sodium hydroxide is produced by the electrolysis of aqueous solution of sodium chloride called brine. The electrolysis of brine is called the chloralkali process, since the products formed are chlorine and an alkali. In the process of electrolysis of brine, hydrogen is collected at the cathode and chlorine at the anode. The hydrogen formed in this process is used to manufacture fuels, margarine and ammonia for fertilizers. Chlorine is used for water treatment in swimming pools to manufacture chlorofluorocarbons, PVC, chemical compounds like chloroform, carbon tetrachloride, disinfectants and pesticides. What are the other uses of sodium hydroxide? It is used to manufacture soaps and detergents. Sodium hydroxide is also used to manufacture paper, artificial fibers like rayon and dyes. Wow! Why is the sand shining? Did you observe that it is crystalline? Similar to sand grains, salts also have a crystalline structure. Moreover, some salts have a fixed number of water molecules as an essential part of their crystal. These water molecules which form the part of the crystal are called water of crystallization and such salts are called hydrated salts. For example, in your laboratory, the blue colored copper sulfate is copper sulfate pentahydrate. When heated, this salt loses its water molecules and its blue color. Let us perform a simple experiment to verify the presence of water molecules in copper sulfate. Take some powdered copper sulfate in a test tube. Hold the test tube with a pair of tongs and heat it using a Bunsen burner. Observe that the blue colored copper sulfate turns white. When this powder is moistened with water, the blue color reappears. Do all salts have water molecules in their crystals? Not all. Only some salts have water molecules in their crystals. For example, sodium carbonate decahydrate, Na2CO3, 10H2O. Ferrous sulfate heptahydrate, 
FeSO4 7H2O Zinc Sulfate Heptahydrate ZnSO4 7H2O Magnesium Sulfate Heptahydrate or Epsom Salt MgSO4 7H2O Potash Alum is a sulfate of potassium and aluminium with 24 water molecules K2SO4 Al2 SO43 24H2O Poor boy He's hurt himself and his arm is in a cast Do you know what that cast is made of? No It is made of plaster of Paris Gypsum when heated to 100 degrees centigrade forms plaster of Paris which is chemically called calcium sulfate hemihydrate CaSO4 half H2O This calcium sulfate hemihydrate CaSO4 half H2O sets and becomes a hard mass when mixed with water Some of the uses of plaster of Paris are for setting fractures since it hardens when mixed with water and sets in a short time as a fire and waterproofing material as a sealing agent in the laboratory for sealing air gaps in apparatus where airtight arrangement is required for making casts for statues toys and decorative articles for smoothening wall surfaces i hope aapko ye chapter bahut hi achhi tarah se samajh mein aaya hoga agar aapko samajh mein aaya to hamare channel ko subscribe kare aur share kare aur bhi bachcho tak और इस चैनल पे हर रोज आपके लिए मोटिवेशनल वीडियोस भी आते हैं इसलिए इस चैनल को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा शेयर करें और और भी चैप्टर कर लो तो उठाएं इस चैनल पे तब तक लेटेक केयर बाय टाटा बाय बाय थैंक यू साइनिंग ऑफ सदरी बाय फ्यूचर डॉक्टर